Hi, welcome back to our program, Business Conversation. I'm Lisa. And I'm Austin. It's great to be back. Today we're going to continue learning something related to business and money. The topic for today is, it's a deal. It's a deal. This is an expression used after you have already discussed and agreed on how you are going to do something. You say, it's a deal, to say what you have discussed is decided upon or you have come to an agreement on something. Right. Often it is about uh, signing a contract or related to money issue. Why don't we check it out in Help Me Help You and see what questions our students have for us. Yes, that's a good idea. Here we go. Help me help you. Hello, my name is Corey. My name is Melody. My first question is, what do I do if the senior colleagues don't respect me? Thanks for the question. This is a hard one to uh, give you some feedback on as I don't really know your exact situation. However, I can give you a few pointers. This might depend on how new you are to your company. Oftentimes, senior employees do not really respect newer uh, employees until they have proven themselves. Also, maybe you have yet to do a major project with them so they haven't had a chance to see what you really can do for the company. Finally, don't forget that respect is earned, not given. So you might have to do some work to really prove yourself. 不是给人家给你的也就是说当你在一个职场你还不知道你不是资深员工你还是新人的时候资深员工其实是在观看你的看你有没有本事看你有没有好的态度看你有没有能力一起做一些 有足够的能力，当你慢慢的展现你的才能、你的可靠度啊，你对工作的认真，那么你的respect，人家就会你你就赚到了你的respect啊。老师很喜欢刚刚他说的，respect不是别人给你，respect是你自己赚来的。你要
好，我们来看下一个问题。Thank you. My second question is, what transitional words can I use to express my opposing perspective to a superior without being insulting? Thanks for the question, Melody. Uh, transitional words to use when expressing an opposing perspective. Um, that's a tricky one. Uh, what comes to mind is the phrase, if I may. So you could lead in with a compliment saying, oh, I think that's a great idea, but if I may voice a concern, or if I may uh, disagree about one issue. So using if I may to bring up a, a point um, in a polite way. The second thing I wanted to add is kind of a philosophy on giving criticism, and it's called uh, making a sandwich out of a criticism. So um, a sandwich has two pieces of bread and then something in the middle, right? So we uh, start with the first piece of bread and it's a compliment. So you say, oh, I really like this about your idea. And then you get to the middle and you say, but maybe, uh, and then you give your criticism and then you finalize or you, you end with another compliment. And then in the end, I think this is a great idea because of so on. So uh, giving uh, criticism that has uh, compliments, bookending it, or compliments on either side of it really can uh, take the sting out of criticism and make people more receptive to uh, what you're trying to say. Sandwich,这个老师也在常常在上课会谈到,就是sandwich,你知道是两片面包,中间有一些重要的肉啊什么的。通常你先compliment,就是说先赞美,先肯定上司的看法或是对方的看法。然后中间你才说,if I may,或者是but,我还有一些什么不一样的看法。最后你再加一片面包,那片面包也是一个赞美。所以人家听起来就会比较舒服。这在商务的谈判里头,或者是在职场。都很重要的，甚至在社交的环境里头，我觉得，嗯，当你要表达不一样的声音的时候，这个技巧都很重要。谢谢Austin老师的回答。我们看下一个题目。Thank you. My next question is: Is it okay for me to object to a superior's point of view in front of other employees, or should I do it when we are alone? Thanks for the question. Um, objecting to, to a superior's point of view in front of other employees can sometimes backfire, and other times it's the correct thing to do. So what you need to do is be very sensitive to the situation and the setting. Is your superior setting up a meeting to have other employees uh, voice concerns or uh, objections? Are they asking for feedback? If they are, then it's probably a good time to give feedback. Is your superior uh, maybe lecturing their employees? Uh, are they talking rhetorically or they don't want feedback at that time? Probably not a good time to give feedback. Um, and as always, if it's a sensitive issue um, or something that's very serious, it's probably best to bring it up in private in a one-on-one -on -one situation so you can get um, a better uh, reading on what they feel about it and they feel maybe less burdened by um, performing in front of their employees when they answer you. 好的,这个情况呢,就是要看情形了哈,如果你觉得这个事情是长官,你的上司他只是在做一个演讲,他并没有要求你给他feedback,这时候就不太适合给他任何的看法。如果这是一个他希望你回馈意见的时候,那当然
Maybe let's take a closer look at our chapter focus for today. Well, today's chapter focus has two parts. The first is to learn how to ask and state certainty in conversation. The second is to learn ways of expressing doubt before making decisions. 今天的课程重点第一是学习如何在谈话的呃当中询问问题跟陈述意见。第二个呢是学习如何在谈话的过程中，呃，要做决定之前表达疑虑。Well, let's begin our lesson by learning some key words and phrases. Then we will play our conversation one and two. The first key word is substantial, 可观的 Substantial, large in amount or degree, considerable. 指大量的或有相当程度的。For example, the workers got a substantial pay raise in 2017. 员工们在二零一七年时得到大幅度的加薪。接下去 ，seniority， 资历。Seniority, when someone is older or has been working for a particular company a greater length of time than someone else. Okay, 这个是指某人比较年长，在某一家公司的待的时间比别人更资深。For example, the promotion was based on his seniority in the company. 在公司的升迁取决于员工的资历。接下去是 merit， 优点。Merit, the good qualities of someone or something that make you admire them or think they are important or valuable. 指人或事物有好的特质，使我们欣赏或觉得重要有价值。For example, his opinions do have merit, but I don't think they are the only ones we should listen to. 他的意见是很好，但是我不觉得那是我们唯一应该听的。下一个是 rest assured， 放心。Rest assured, feel certain about something. 意思就是指对事物有确定的感觉。For example, you can rest assured that this product will not disappoint you. 你可以放心，这项产品绝对不会让你失望的。下一个 ，bellows， 风箱。Bellows, a tool used to blow air, especially into a fire, to make it burn better. 这是指用来吹气的工具，特别指让火吹得更旺。For example, he used the bellows to get the fire started in the fireplace. 他用风箱让壁炉的火烧起来。下一个 ，prototype， 模型。Prototype, the first form of something new made before it is produced in large quantities. 指新东西在大量生产前第一个做好的模型雏形。For example, he brought the prototype to the meeting to give everyone an idea of what the new product looks like. 他带了模型啊、uh, 到会议来，让每一个人知道新产品的样子。Target， 目标族群。Target. To try to persuade or to influence a particular group of people. 试图要说服或影响特定的族群。For example, this product targets retired people. 这样的产品的客群是退休人士。Sold, 说服，使之接受。Sold, make someone believe something, convince. 使他人相信某事，说服。For example, you've sold me on the idea to hire two more managers. 你说服了我，再雇佣两位以上的主管。All right, now let's watch our skits, conversation one and two. I'm really impressed with Peter's work, even though he's only been with the company for six months. I'm considering giving him a substantial pay raise. Are you sure? I know he's done an excellent job, but I'm afraid that won't sit well with some of the employees who have more seniority. On the contrary, 
I think this should motivate them to be more creative and productive on their job. How sure are you that they won't think that you're favoring him because of his family background? I really have some doubts about how this will be received. Well then, how would you handle it? I want to motivate our employees. Have a better idea? My suggestion would be to give a one-time bonus to Peter for his work on this project instead of giving him a pay raise so soon. I have some reservations about doing this since he's not the only one who's worked on this project. All the more reason not to give him the pay raise so soon. Maybe the bonus could be shared with his team. What do you think about doing this at the annual Christmas party? Sorry, but I have some qualms about that as well. I think the focus of that time isn't to pat any one person or team on the back. It is a time that should be used to bring unity among the company as a whole. Don't you agree? George, I have to admit, I had some doubts about your being manager, since you are so young. But you really have a good head on your shoulders. I'm glad to have you on the team. Thanks for the advice. It has merit. It's nice to be appreciated. Fred, last night I had a dream about a new product. I want to know what you think about it. Sure, try me. What kind of product did you dream about? Get a load of this. I want our company to produce a line of air-conditioned shoes. Would I hurt your feelings if I said I'm a little uncertain about how you'll power the motor to run the air conditioners? Rest assured, I've thought this through. The shoes are air conditioned by a bellows, not by a motor. And every time you step down, the small billow in the sole of the shoe blows air from the heel to the front of the shoe. Are you sure the shoe will be comfortable with the bellow in the heel? I'm one step ahead of you. I have a prototype right here. Try this on and tell me what you think. Okay, even if it is comfortable, I'm not sure you can produce it at a reasonable price. You know we target college students. I'm certain we can do it. In fact, I've already called their factory in China and asked about the price of production. Okay, you sold me, but you still have to get this idea past Seth. Are you certain you can convince him? No doubt about it. He'll recognize genius when he hears it. Okay, let's go. Let's go talk to him now. Lead the way. Austin, I'd like to know what happened when someone said this matter didn't sit well with the team. Didn't sit well with the team. Uh, this verb phrase simply describes that someone did something that made the team very unhappy. The whole team may disagree or dislike what someone said or did. Okay. 这个动词片语简单的描述就是有人做了一件事使整个团队很不高兴整个团队可能不同意或不喜欢这个人所说的所做的意思就是 not sit well with someone 令某人不高兴 Austin老师给我们一个例句 For example, the decision the boss made didn't sit well with his workers. 老板做的决定让他的员工不太高兴 Austin, when you have qualms about something, what does that mean? Uh, this expression means that you are worried about something. Ah, this expression means that you are worried about something. For example, she had no qualms at all about firing this man, even though his family was powerful. Okay. 这个意思就是，尽管那个人的家族非常有势力，他还是毫无疑虑地把那个人给开除了。呃，there uh, was another question. Uh, it, would that be a good sign when your boss pats you on the back? Yeah, you could take it as a good thing. Uh, that means your boss tried to confirm or compliment or praise you for doing something right. Okay. Uh, pass someone on the back. 这个意思是指称赞。你可以把它看作是一个很好的方式。意味着你的老板试图的要确认也赞美表扬你做了正确的事情。
For example, the boss who pats his employees on the back when they work hard will find they work harder for the company. 老板能在员工认真工作时称赞员工，员工也会更努力。Okay, then I have a, a another question. What does that mean when someone said to me that I have a good head on my shoulder, shoulders? You can take it as a compliment. The true meaning behind this expression is to indicate that you have common sense, that you are sensible and intelligent. Uh huh. Have a good head on one's shoulders. This idiom 就是指有见识，哈，通情达理，而且聪明。你可以把它当作是一个，嗯，啊，表达意涵，说背后真正的意思是表示你有常识，啊，你是明智而且聪明的。As an example, Samson, you really have a good head on your shoulders. I like the way you think. Samson. 你真的很有见识，我喜欢你的想法啊。啊、uh, ，Austin, why do people use this expression? Try me. Did this carry a bad meaning? No, try me isn't specifically negative.、Uh, try me is a spoken form. A person may not believe you are willing or able to do something. If they are wrong, you can say try me to show that you would be willing to prove them wrong. Okay, try me 的意思就是试试看，呃、uh, ，我是否会照你说的哈，相信或做某事，这是一种口语的形式。这个人可能不会相信你会做什么，或相信啊、uh, 你所说的哈，你所言的。那你为了要确认你会做你所做的，你就可以说 try me。Maybe Lisa can help me with this、uh, example. Okay, you won't believe what I just heard. Try me. Okay, 我说你不会相信我刚刚听到的。他就说 Try me， 是吗？说来听听。那个背后的意思是他相信我要告诉他的。哈，好的。呃、uh, ，When do we use this idiom? Get a load of someone or get a load of something. This idiom is used for telling someone to look. Or listen to someone or something that you think is funny or interesting. This means to let people see and listen. This phrase is used to tell someone to pay attention or listen to something you think is funny or interesting. For example, get a load of that car. It's got real wire wheels. For example, get a load of that car. It's got real wire wheels. Okay, 赶快来看那辆车。那个车子的呃、uh, 轮胎很特别。有时候我们不是百分之百的确定他人的想法或意见，这个时候呢，这种情况下，我们就需要在啊决定问题啊呃决定什么事情之前，你要提出问题，询问对方，呃，或者是解释我们的疑疑虑哈。好，接下去我们就要来看啊 ，asking about certainty and stating certainty 啊。好，我们来啊， uh, 跟啊、uh, Austin 老师来做一些练习哈。呃、uh, ，Are you sure? Absolutely. OK， 我要问他确定吗 ？Are you sure？ 我接下去用别的生字来问 ，Are you certain？ It's certain. OK， 他就用 certain 这个字回答我。Is that for sure？ I'm sure. 好的，问的、回答的都用同一个字 ，sure 这个字。Are you certain that we won't get into trouble? I'm certain about it. Okay. Is it certain that he'll come on time? Rest assured, he'll come. Okay. Ah,、uh, 放心，他会来的，他会准时来的。How sure are you that it's a good idea? No doubt about it. No doubt about it. 意思就是说我非常确认这是好的 idea。Are you certain that we won't get into trouble? There's something I have some qualms about. Okay, 他在这里陈述了他某一个程度的啊、uh, 保留哈，他有一些的疑虑哈。There's something I have some qualms about it. Okay, is it certain that they'll come on time? I doubt they'll come. 啊、uh, ，他有点怀疑他会来哈。各位同学，这是刚刚的一些复习。那现在我们再来看啊、呃，我们的 conversation one and two， 
。这一次在放的时候，我们会加上英文的字幕，同学们可以趁这个机会 review 啊、uh, 所学过的 key words key phrases。OK。I'm really impressed with Peter's work. Even though he's only been with the company for six months, I'm considering giving him a substantial pay raise. Are you sure? I know he's done an excellent job, but I'm afraid that won't sit well with some of the employees who have more seniority. On the contrary, I think this should motivate them to be more creative and productive on their job. How sure are you that they won't think that you're favoring him because of his family background? I really have some doubts about how this will be received. Well, then, how would you handle it? I want to motivate our employees. Have a better idea? My suggestion would be to give a one-time bonus to Peter for his work on this project, instead of giving him a pay raise so soon. I have some reservations about doing this, since he's not the only one who's worked on this project. All the more reason not to give him a pay raise so soon. Maybe the bonus could be shared with his team. What do you think about doing this at the annual Christmas party? Sorry, but I have some qualms about that as well. I think the focus of that time isn't to pat any one person or team on the back. It is a time that should be used to bring unity among the company as a whole. Don't you agree, George? I have to admit, I had some doubts about your being manager since you are so young. But you really have a good head on your shoulders. I'm glad to have you on the team. Thanks for the advice. It has merit. It's nice to be appreciated. Fred, last night I had a dream about a new product. I want to know what you think about it. Sure, try me. What kind of product did you dream about? Get a load of this. I want our company to produce a line of air-conditioned shoes. Would I hurt your feelings if I said I'm a little uncertain about how you'll power the motor to run the air conditioners? Rest assured, I've thought this through. The shoes are air-conditioned by a bellows, not by a motor. And every time you step down, the small billow in the sole of the shoe blows air from the heel to the front of the shoe. Are you sure the shoe will be comfortable with the bellow in the heel? I'm one step ahead of you. I have a prototype right here. Try this on and tell me what you think. Okay, even if it is comfortable, I'm not sure you can produce it at a reasonable price. You know we target college students. I'm certain we can do it. In fact, I've already called their factory in China and asked about the price of production. Okay, you sold me, but you still have to get this idea past Seth. Are you certain you can convince him? No doubt about it. He'll recognize genius when he hears it. Okay, let's go. Let's go talk to him now. Lead the way. Okay, students, we're running out of time. Before we close, let's take a few seconds to review what we have learned from today's lesson. Sometimes one person may be assured of what they are talking about, but the other person may not be so sure. Today we learned ways to ask about certainty using such phrases as, "How sure are you that?" and "Are you certain?" and to state certainty with phrases such as "Absolutely" and "Rest assured." We also learned ways of expressing doubt with phrases like, "There is something I have some qualms about," and "I have some reservations about that." Thank you, Austin. This is a great review. Those are very helpful and practical phrases to use. Okay, maybe you'll find some time、uh, to practice what you, we learned today. Okay, I hope our students all enjoy learning English with us today. Have a nice day. Thanks for tuning in.